Hello to everyone listening in the non-space that is the internet. I am Jay Ishiro Finney, author and alien in a human suit. And I am Kat Rocha, CEO of Zero One Publishing. And this is Talking Shop. Today we're going to be watching and commenting on Heroinburg, a live-action internet superhero show produced by a group out of Pittsburgh. We haven't seen the show yet, but you'll be getting our live reactions and first impressions of the show. She puts her costume on, and she's feeling super strong. When deadly threats attack, she'll be ready to strike back. She's living in Heroinburg. We've got our heroine, very good looking goth girl. Nice tattoo, I love Ouroboruses. Okay, first comment I can give here is that the production quality is very amateur, unfortunately. The acting between these two is solid. The problem is, is that it really lacks dynamic angles or cutting to make the scene flow. you really just got two people talking at each other. And the audio is so bad, it's very difficult to hear what they're saying. It's kind of like they're using the in-camera microphone. Really what they needed to have is a boom mic. Yeah, the, uh, the goth girl here, she's wearing bondage bracelets, and every time she puts her hands down on the table, you hear planks and rattling metal, and that goes right over to the dialogue. You can't hear a word. One more critique. Uh, I know more about the mechanic girl than I do our main protagonist in this scene. We know that she graduated college and that she used to be on drugs, but that's about it. No, no. She graduated with a degree in cyber science. Oh, yeah. She graduated with a degree in cyber science, yes. What is that marking on her arm? I don't know, it's a perfect quad. It does look like she bolted something to her arm. Oh, she's cute too. I like the hair. Two years I've been with this company. A healthy employee, a happy employer. Is that what it said? Table job as usual. You'd figure in cyber science she'd have a better computer. By the way. Oh no, they're not doing this, are they? How about later on? You and me. Okay, I'm really hoping I'm just sensitive to these things that I just came off of female furies. We're not going to get an HR problem here, are we? No, I'm sorry, Mr. Kaiser. I have some We are fuck at home tonight. Guys, this is your first episode and you start with an HR problem where the boss is coming on to the no! You know, it's not healthy to be all working Yeah, I'm day. waiting for her to say this is sexual harassment and I'm not going to take it. <laughs> yeah, he's just now threatened that she's, you know, going to be getting old and he's not going to want to pay attention to her anymore. Really? What an asshole. Yeah, and you're... Uh, my immediate thought is, well, you're working for him. Okay, here's the hot goth girl and a mechanic Yeah, finally, friend. two characters I actually give a damn about now. Unfortunately, the music, I don't know if they're actually playing it in the background of the set, or if it's ADR'd in, but it's mixed in such a way you can't hear what these two are saying. Yeah. Those are some very nice boots. You need those boots. I do need those boots. I want to go to work. I want to sip my vegan latte. She's sipping her vegan latte. Unknown black metal band on my t-shirt. Wait, wait. Sipping a vegan latte but listens to a black metal band. There's a contradiction there. I'm just really sick of these HR directors that think they can just judge somebody. You know, I... But now she's talking about HR. What the? I just want to give be given the chance. I just want to be given the opportunity. Like, I deserve the opportunity. To succeed. I just yeah, how much time has gone by? She's talking like she's been turned down at every corner, but... Damn it. Okay, we've got a meteor approaching the Earth. I'm not going to knock them for the effect here. Uh, this is obviously... Um, well, it's, <laughs> it's better than Track of the Moon Beast. And I give them props for not using Comic Sans. That night, our two female protagonists have bad dreams. And weird radiation is uh, giving them bad dreams. Jesus, what did she do to her arm? Is that I, some sort of body mod? If it is, that's cool. She's got it on both arms. Well, it makes me wonder if like, she does like the body lacing. I bet that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that's good. She was reading the Time Life Psychic Powers book. Yes. That game I was downloading is ready. What do you think of the tats? 
The tats are good. Oh, yeah. Oh. That, that is a nice tattoo. No, I can't complain about this scene. No, no, she's uh, she's sitting in a nightie and she's wearing it quite well. Yeah, and I dig that hair. Yeah. Oh, she found she has electricity powers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's I have, not bad. I have to say, as far as uh, discovering your power scenes goes, wow. this is pretty good. Did I just generate my own electrical energy? <laughs> I feel like a charged up turbine. Is that Blood Rain? No, I think that's Bianca Beauchamp. Is that a kaiju? I want to know what that toy is with the uh, one playing the keyboard. Well, that and the Ultraman. Okay, kaiju. she needs to wear this costume when she becomes a superhero. Yes. Okay, does she become Livewire? Does she turn off the U.S. grid? No, or she uses her powers just to harass people. Oh, the good Livewire, yeah. You're an attractive woman. Why would you put that on your head? <laughs> she, she had cool hair. That. No, the effects are actually... For what it is, decent. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. The what? green screen's kind of... Green screening DOS? Well, no. They need to learn how to adjust the choke and threshold on the green screen. Look at her hips. Oh, yeah. You know, I bet if she wasn't in a uh, metallic oh, outfit, she wouldn't have yeah. that problem. Yeah, it's, it's reflecting some of the green off of the uh, environment around it. Okay, I'm just going to say it one more time. Whoever you are playing the electric girl here, you're an attractive woman. Take that damn thing off your head. It. Seriously. It's a little too cheesy. I think I'd like to try something else. Let's take a look here. I do like the uh, trying on outfit scene. This is pretty cool. <laughs> okay, oh, I approve. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I approve. That's she looks like a uh, roller derby girl. Uh, I, that's actually, I believe, um, a planetary character's outfit. Oh, is it? Or is it the authority? I think it's one of the two. It's a cool costume. Yeah. Hello. Uh, okay, yeah. Goth girl is really fucking hot. Okay, they had said that there are pretty women in this, and yeah, they're delivering. Yeah. Very 90s. Yes. She's got Wonder Woman bracers on. 90s era goth industrial was way better than the ones we got now. This cyber yeah. goth shit. Cyber goth isn't goth. Uh, I dig that tattoo. Look at his hand. Oh, dude. That is badass. That's pretty awesome. Up here's Slimeball. He's been drinking Heineken. See, this is his problem. He's drinking oh, shitty Heinekens. Man. Do they have, like, oh, one yeah. computer prop? I think uh, so. Yeah, that's the same desk that the secretary is at. Okay, I, I realize this is kind of a campy, fun, uh, 60s Batman kind of thing, but if you go that extra mile with the sets and stuff, it does make a difference. So maybe you could go down the uh, Neil Breen route and uh, go on to uh, Craigslist and buy a bunch of old broken laptops and then yeah. you can pour coffee on them and... <laughs> Yeah, I can drop them on the floor, spill tuna no on them. Here. Drinks. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You're fucking kidding me. You're the first person to even give me one chance. Offer me a chance. I'm okay, again, interview. fix the sound. Now, this girl's jewelry, you can hear it every time she moves, which is a problem. This is just ridiculous, you know? And then you want to go on and just hit on me during the interview, right now. If I worked here one day, that would be sexual harassment. And you are a fucking creep. And this is bullshit. Kurt getting pissed off about being hit on by Baldy here. I have a feeling this woman in real life, if she had been sexually harassed, would come up with a much better insult rather than... Okay. Okay, I gotta say this. First off, I totally approve of her telling him he's a complete asshole for hitting on her, but for her to like unleash her powers on him, quite frankly, he's not worth the effort. Again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, think about it though. This guy's sitting in his office, he hits on the hot goth girl, and the first thing she does is stand up, pull off all her clothes, and he's probably thinking, I'm scoring. Yeah. <laughs> it finally worked. I finally hit on a girl and it worked. Yeah. Fucking destroy this place. They deserve it. Now she's, she's, um, she's a raging bitch and she's punching every male she comes across. Yeah, those guys didn't do anything. No, none of these people did anything to her. So she's a villain. 
Yes, she's a villain and she's wearing red, which I guess is showing that she's permanently PMSing. Should we call her the PMS Avenger now? So one guy hits on her, and then she destroys the office and beats all the men up in the office. Yeah. Yeah, look, I'm just the janitor, shit! Why should I be rooting for this person now? I mean, yeah, she's hot, but being hot is no excuse for being a fucking cunt. Fuck you and your fucking lunch! You can hear his skull cracking. Yeah, she just killed somebody. And then ate his lunch. Okay, does your fortune say that you will die alone because you're a fucking cunt? Looks like this will be a good beta test for Sabrina. Okay, so far I'm really liking Sabrina. Oh god, that wig. What are you doing? You. You are fucking me over. Everybody's <laughs> fucking me over, treating me like shit. Okay, so Regina is constantly on her period and paranoid as fuck that everybody is either hitting on her or treating her like shit. Freaky? Look who's talking. I can't have you running around here smashing stuff. Uh, they have a girl fight that consists of them just pushing each other. <laughs> Okay, I, I'm okay. Yes, this fight scene is incredibly entertaining, but I'm sorry, guys, it's not because of the choreography. Well, they're kind of just standing there talking to each other and waving their arms. Yeah, and they need to learn how to pull their punches, or actually, no, what this the, the fight scene could benefit greatly from better camera angles to hide the fact that they're pulling their punches. This whole production could benefit from better camera angles and some editing. She locked the door! I mean, the first problem is, is the editing on this is so subpar. This episode probably should be 10 minutes shorter. Yeah. Locked from the inside. Hey, you, this is a robotics lab, right? Yes. If this is a robotics lab, where are the robots? Look, lady, you absolutely should not be in here. This is a closed laboratory. This is a closed experiment. You absolutely cannot be in here. Get over yourself, nerd. I'm too pissed to care. I'm she really called him a nerd. The woman doesn't get touched, but the guy that said, hey, what are you doing in my lab, gets beat up. I'm in the robotics lab. I should be working here. This should be my job. It could have been your job. You just had to deal with the douchebag. I don't think it should be her job if she's this mentally unstable. Well, also, I, I do not respect any female that says this should be mine. You gotta fucking earn it. I'm Sabrina. What is teenage witch? Okay, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, him making a uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch joke was good. Uh, this could really benefit from an over-the-shoulder shot and then a close-up. I have a plan. You say so. If she hates her boss so much, why was she just nice to him just now? Well, maybe because she is heroic. Oh, true. But she's also bitching about how she doesn't like how he treats her. If she's really this special and awesome, then why isn't she just quit and yes then if she was nice to him it would make more sense but now it's just it's like you like it when he's harassing you don't you that's really how it comes off hey, although I, I still like the cyber effect here no the, the cyber effect is good it's just it needs to be pushed just a little bit and i understand that they may not have had the ability to do so but now i can suck all the oxygen out of the room even a raging maniac has to breathe, right? I feel nothing but rage! Rage, you hear me? Well, don't say I didn't warn you. You'll be knocked out, but hopefully otherwise unharmed. <laughs> yeah, you just try that. You know, this scene would have benefited from a sound effect. <sighs> that man that you interviewed with, Mr. Kaiser, got fired yesterday for sexual harassment. Well, it, it's nice to see that it took a psycho bitch for somebody to report his ass. You know, not the secretary that had been working for him for two years. Guess who replaced him? Me. So I'll be doing the hiring from now on. You're well versed in programming, and I want to put your skills to good use. Seriously? No, it's very obvious. She wants a slave. I'm familiar with superpowers. 
I'm familiar with superpowers. You've only had them for like a week. Your own time. But if you're going to work for me, you need to keep your powers in check. What? To take this medication, to control your rage. Here, take this. It's called Zoloft. It's this called Midol. This will help you out, you bipolar bitch. Shit. <laughs> yeah, it's lithium and Zoloft with a healthy dose of chocolate. That sounds great. Thank you so much. I won't let you down. Here's hoping you don't. Sisters gotta do it for themselves. You say after you put up with the fucker for two years and you didn't do anything about it until the really hot girl came in and kicked his ass. I'm sorry guys, uh, I hate that bullshit that had the uh, potential of being good in that episode and you fucked it up with a ham-fisted uh, misogyny message. I mean, I suppose if you want to watch So Bad It's Good, sure. But if this stuff really grates on your nerves like it does someone in this room... Someone whose eye is twitching? Yes. You know what? You know, go into a rant. Explain to us. Spell it out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let us break this down. What is the message of this episode? The message of this episode is you have two women, one who is working for a douchebag and one who applies for a job with douchebag. The woman working for a douchebag states quite plainly, in fact, states before we even meet douchebag that she has been putting up with his douchebaggery for two years and has done fuck all about it. She hasn't lifted a finger. She hasn't reported his ass. All she does is sit and mope and whine that she's not where she wants to be in her life. The other woman interviews with douchebag and he immediately hits on her. Okay, fine. She gets mad and pissed off that finally she gets her foot in the door in a place and the guy hits on her. That part was perfectly reasonable. But instead of doing the adult thing of getting up and walking out of the building and then reporting his ass, she turns into psycho PMS woman not only beats him up, she beats up every male she comes across in a rampage through the building. She is specifically rampaging through the building to find every male she possibly can to beat the crap out of. And then when Sabrina, she calms the situation down, which is fine, she's nice to douchebag after she's just bitching about how he's been hitting on her. And I understand the, okay, he doesn't know who she is. He doesn't know that that she's his secretary, but there's a fine line between being nice and, dare I say, trying to impress him with her abilities, it, right down to the fact that she flat out lies to him that she's been hired by their company, which she hasn't, she just shows up, which tells me that, no, she's not pissed at him hitting on her. She actually likes it and is trying to impress him. Then later she says, well, he was fired for sexual harassment. It's like, yeah, obviously somebody else reported his ass or the higher-ups figured out what he was doing because a rampaging psycho feminazi beat up every man in the building because of him, not because of her. Guys, this is not a feminist message. Neither of these women are empowering. Neither of these women are strong. Neither of these women are worth a fucking damn. I hate these women. I really fucking do. I would expect any woman that I was interviewing for a job to act like a reasonable, rational human being. This is 2019. Women don't have to be responsible for themselves anymore. And that's why they're not getting anywhere. The glass ceiling is totally <laughs> self-inflicted. Women have absolutely no accountability whatsoever. And if you do ask them to be accountable, you are terrible. And that's why women aren't accomplishing jack fucking shit. There's a reason why I don't hire women. Uh, do you want to follow up that statement? I run my own fucking company. There's a reason why I don't hire women as employees. I may work with them as contract work, but they're not my employees. With an employee, I gotta work with them. I need to be able to work and rely on that employee. And unfortunately, I haven't met a woman yet that I can. And I hate saying that. There's a lot to like here and I can see a lot of potential. It's just that feminist, misogynist, yo, this is sexual harassment and I'm not gonna take it. Bullshit needs to fucking go. I'm gonna say one more thing. These women didn't do fuck all about the misogynistic douchebag until after they got superpowers. What the fuck does that say, huh? 
That doesn't say that they're strong, independent women. It means that they needed to have fucking superpowers to do what any reasonable man would do, which would be get up and leave the fucking room or quit the job. So until they had superpowers, they weren't equal to men? Yes, yes, that is exactly what this said. Fuck that! Now I'm going to just float the possibility, okay? I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Is this a Poe? No. Okay, so you don't think that no, this is intentionally I think, bad? I don't think this is a Poe. You think they're serious? You don't think yes, this is... Yes, I do think this, that they are serious because I've seen Poe's that have been very convincing, but there are certain tells. No, this has feminism written all over it. This has cuckery written all over it. <laughs>